Zach Wheeler is no longer going into a contract year in 2024, as he and the Phillies were able to get an extension worked out before the regular season. Both sides desired to get a deal done, and they were able to do just that. Wheels is still a Cy Young Canada starter in the National League, so he got paid big time. It is a three-year extension worth $126 million, the highest AAV in Phillies history. Fellow ace and teammate Aaron Nola re-signed this offseason, so he and Wheeler have locked their spots at the top of the Phillies rotation for the next few years. I will be previewing Zach Wheeler's 2024 season in this video. If you like all things Philly sports, consider subscribing because this is the place for you. To recap 2023, Wheeler had a very good season, like he has had in each of his last few seasons in Philadelphia. He pitched to a 3.61 ERA with 212 strikeouts in his 32 starts. His whip was low again at 1.08 and had an improved strikeout to walk ratio of 5.44. He came 6th in Cy Young voting and even won his first career gold glove, so he can do a little more than just pitch. He was outstanding during the regular season and carried that into the postseason. In the playoffs, Wheeler went 3-0 with a 1.95 ERA in 27 innings. He was lights out as he has proved to show up on the big stage again. If the Phillies can get this version of Wheels in 2024, it would be more than ideal. Moving on from 2023, 2024 will bring big things for the Phillies ace. It's unclear if Wheeler will get the opening day start, as Aaron Nola has gotten it every year since 2018. As a courtesy thing, I would let Nola continue the streak and have Wheeler as the number two to start the season. I mean, Nola is like the co-ace on the team, so it shouldn't affect them badly at all. I am interested to see how Wheeler's velocity and command will hold up during his age 33 season. As we know from past experience, it is a big question mark how pitchers perform after they hit 30 years old. We have seen pitchers like Justin Verlander, R.A. Dickey, and Max Scherzer thrive into their mid to late 30s, while other pitchers tend to struggle once their age increases. Wheeler reminds me more of a pitcher that can succeed late into his career, so I don't think signing him to an extension will turn out to be a bad thing. He still has excellent fastball velocity and command, and his secondary pitches are still wonderful options. The duo of Zach Wheeler and Aaron Nola has the potential to be the best in Major League Baseball. We have not seen a consistent Aaron Nola, but now that he is under contract, he might feel more comfortable. Having him and Wheeler pitch at an elite level at the same time would be scary for the rest of the league. These two guys can realistically come top 5 in Cy Young voting this year. On to Wheeler's projections, I see him pitching to an ERA under 3, with him continuing to rack up the strikeouts. Wheeler hasn't had a shutout since 2021, where he had two of them, but I think he gets one in 2024. He is going to come top 5 in Cy Young voting, maybe even top 3, maybe even winning the award. Wheeler is going to be lights out this year, and paired with Aaron Nola at the top of the rotation, they will be a force to be reckoned with. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of Zach Wheeler going into the 2024 season. Will he perform under his extension and have a Cy Young caliber season? Like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to stay up to date with all things Philly sports. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next video.